but only now you tell me you've been receiving threatening phone calls. Yes, Sergeant. Yes. You'd better sit down, please, would you? Thank you. How many? Oh, half a dozen, maybe. It's serious, you know, this sort of thing. Yes, I know, sir. Very serious. And you didn't report it. Well, I thought... I thought it was a sort of, well, stick that any public figure was bound to get, you know. No, sir, I don't know. And now you tell me you've been personally threatened. I was, last night. He came in this house like a bull in a china shop, angry, rude, and he threatened me. Mr. Franks? Yes. Any witnesses? No. Your daughter? Well, she was upstairs. He threatened she'd be the next if I hold this meeting tonight. Yes, well, I shouldn't concern yourself too much about that, sir. And as far as the meeting is concerned, we'll give you all the help we can muster. Oh, thank you. See, it wasn't anything I'd bargained for, you see. Intimidation through my daughter. No, sir, well, you wouldn't, would you? But none of this would have happened if you'd got in touch with us sooner. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get it, Daddy. Oh, what happens now, Sergeant? Well, I should require you to come down to the station and make a formal statement. Oh, of course. And then we'll take it from there. It's not easy, though, you see. An uncorroborated statement from an interested party such as yourself is easily blown away. And in this case, well, first things first, down to the station, make a formal statement. No, I'll just get my jacket and tie, then we'll get... Right. Daddy, there's a reporter to see you. What? You know, Anne Armstrong. Oh, not now. Good heavens above, sir. I haven't got enough on my plate without that. Shambles in the hall, a police car outside. What have you got on your plate, Mr. Small? Nothing that concerns you yet, miss. Oh, come on, Sergeant. It's not a rose garden or a sewing bee, is it? What's been happening? Well, I'll tell you after the meeting tonight, all right? Now, if you'll excuse me, I must just go and get my jacket and tie on before I go to the police station. Will someone please tell me what's been going on? In good time, miss. Sarah, would you tell your father that I wait for him in the car? Yes, sir. Um, Sergeant. Yes? Billy and I... Well, we need help. It's nothing to do with this. It's something else altogether. Miss Des, why should he bother about me? You and me, all right? We're friends, perhaps, but Des, what's he? You just have to wait and see, won't you? Hi, Billy. Hello, Morning. Sarah. Hey, what's he doing? Oh, just shush. Is your mum about? She's upstairs, yes. But I'd like a word, if you don't mind. You speak Odo? <laughs> There's no need for that, Sully. Well, what are you doing here? I asked him. You know him, Billy? We both know him, Sully. Look, you can tell him everything that happened, honest. You tell him, Billy. It's open again. I'm not paying for that job, mate. I pay for results. Let's see if you can do better than Jackie tonight, eh? Tonight? Who's paying? Me, I'm paying. Jackie's caught. The extra, mate. In advance. You restore me faith in human nature, Kenny. Greedy like all the rest. You'll get the extra after tonight's job. Now go and check the handle. We'll need them. You're daft, you know, not telling me this before. We have our own problems, you see. Yes, I know, and we have to pick up the bits when you keep quiet. So what are you going to do? Well, I shall have to make out a report. I'd like to keep a constant watch on the shop, but we're short of manpower. Still, I'll think of something. Mm. Leave it with me. Thanks for your help, Sarah. OK, Sergeant. Bye. Sure Billy, I think you should have told the sergeant about Des's idea, the tape recorder and all that. Oh, yeah, and then what will he do? Stop us. We're back at square one. Well, if you're sure. I'm not sure, missus, but I'm going to do something. Because that broke Franks I just don't like. Kenny, you said you got the angle together. So, I couldn't get them all? I could. You, Kenny, call them off, Franks. Look, I can do you a favour. Oh, I'm sorry about your plans. But, uh, that old lady is me auntie. I'm a bit sensitive about her. No half feelings, eh? Look, I can get the amber with no sweat at all. I don't know. I need you, you need me. It's logic, isn't it? All right. Would you try anything like that again, Sully Jim? Jackie, in here. See you around, fellas. You'll be all right, Mr. Small. I've got the meeting well covered. Oh, thanks. What's the show about the shop? Shop? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Well, I'm very grateful. To tell you the truth, I was thinking of giving the whole thing up. I mean, just didn't seem worth it. But that's exactly what they want, isn't it? You to back off. I suppose so, yes. See, if you don't stand against him, he'll be the only independent standing, won't he? Yes. Well, is that a good idea, sir, do you think? To put that way, Sergeant, I don't seem to have any alternative, do I? No, sir, you don't, do you? Oh, Sergeant? Yeah? Have you seen Mr. Franks? Oh, don't worry about that, Mr. Small. 
I've got it all in hand. Oh, thanks. Hello, Sergeant. Mr. Armstrong. Hello. Mr. Small, can you spare a moment now to answer some questions for me? Well, not now, if you don't mind. I'm still a bit pushed. Could you come back here later on this evening? OK, what time do you suggest? Oh, just before the meeting. All right, I'll be back then. Oh, but I uh, want to talk about my problems. I don't want any sympathy votes. I want to win this election fair, square and above board, all right? All right. Sam. Yes, Sam, what is what you want? Look, this is an important message. I want you to give it to Billy Adams when he comes in, all right? afternoon with a message for you. Three men came in and he left it without giving me a message. Thanks, Sam. Sam. Hey, Des. Des, have you seen Kenny? No, why? We tried to leave a message with Sam. He was probably to tell us they're on the way to close Sully's permanent. Oh, just a minute, Billy, you know. Before you start jumping the gun... Who's jumping guns? Look, Sully's up at that shop on his jack. Hey, you're right. Well, you know what we arranged, don't you? Yeah. You go cover the arcade, I'll go and help right. Sully at the shop. Okay. okay. Be careful. Yes, I'll come with you. You'll need no, you. no, no. You better go to that meeting. Your father'll expect you. Anyway, you'll be safer there, won't you? Hello, Sarah. I thought I'd find you here. Oh, hello, Peter. Look, a friend of ours, he's in trouble, needs help. Well, reinforcements, in fact. Me? No chance. Why should I? Well, I just thought. What did you think, Sarah? That I'd come running? Try that with Billy Boy, not me. Well, thank you, Peter. Look, uh, I owe you an apology. Uh, I uh, assumed, took things for granted. I came down here, I didn't know anyone. I'm like my father, I suppose, a bit pushy. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. It's all right. Perhaps you could give me a lift, anyway. I don't want to talk about Billy. <laughs> I just can't see why you like him, that's all. Why? Well, he gets stuck into things, gets involved. He does things. You don't. That's the difference, maybe. Well, who cares if that Indian kid gets run out of town? No one. Who cares if the local elections are a twist and your father gets scared off? I do, don't you? People grab what they can and use it to grab more. Greed, sure, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. You believe that? I believe that anyone who thinks they can change anything by standing up for some stupid little Indian kid is a naive clown. But what difference does one little man make? Your mate, your references, your recommendation. What's he do, Jackie? Eh? What's he do? I didn't know. I didn't know, I didn't know. Now, there's a fine thing. You've got to know in this business, Sonny Jim, it's one of the rules of the game. Big boys you're running with now. None of your namby-pambies now. So what's he doing, eh? Giving that old man messages to tell Billy it's tonight. Can you read that, Sonny? I'll ram that down your throat, I will. My office in half an hour, right? Hey, Sully. Excuse me. You all right? Nothing happened yet? No, why? Look, Kenny tried to get a message through to Billy. I'm sure it must mean that those thugs are going to come back here tonight. I see. Well, we better get ready, haven't we? Mr. 
Mr. Shastri. Wait outside. Three of my clients refused to pay me. They told me that boy is still opening his daddy's shop. Look, things have been a bit hectic today. I've just found out one of my lads is a, a grass and informer, a loudmouth. My organization stretched, see? I see only. The three more customers say to me that if he stays open, then we too stay open. That's all I see. You were ordered to close it. You have put out the contract before, now you go and do the job yourself. Now, look, hang on, wait a minute. We agreed. Nothing, nothing at we all. We agreed that I was to organize things, but not to get myself involved in the front line, so to speak. No names, no pack drill. It's bad for the image for that. You will risk it. You're not afraid of that wog, are you? A child. Me? No. I want him shut for good. A message from my other clients. Look, mate, I'm not your monkey on a stick. Aren't you? You two in here! I've already told you it's not my business, is it? Daddy was right. About what? Well, he said I'd have to learn to read people. I think I know what he means. Well, that's not particularly bright of him, is it? Lesson one, I'd say. And lesson two? Caring about people when you've begun to understand them, perhaps. People caring for each other? Pie in the sky. Really? While it is, there are people taking advantage, people being damaged. You won't change that, Sarah. First lesson, sum up other people. Second lesson, look after number one. Yes, I'd begun to see that. Don't point the finger at me, Sarah. That's the way of the world, a fact of life. Is it? If you really believe that, I'm sorry for you. That kid, that, that Indian. They shut his shop, so what? You, you, you're all changing the world. Well, you can keep your pity for yourselves. You get on with it and leave me out. Bye, Peter. Ta-ra, then. Have a good time. Oh. Right, Sully, plug in. Should be it. And switch on. Hey, smash it. Oh, Sarah, switch it off, Sully. I thought you were at your father's meeting. Well, I tried to get Peter to come and help. Seems he's the sort who only looks after number one. Yeah, well, that sort we can all do without. Right, Sully, well, the lights work. We'd better check the tape, hadn't we? Oh, great. You and the handle are going to be a diversion, see? You're going down to that youth club, into Small's meeting, and you're going to make a lot of trouble. What right? for? Because that way the police won't know which way to turn. Eight o'clock, OK? Look, I don't like it. The police will be waiting for bother at Small's meeting, won't they? Maybe. Oh, what if we get now bother Look, at Sonny, when I say jump, what do you do? What'll you be doing? Sorting that Indian kid. Oh, and we take the risk, eh? No, thanks. Look, Sonny, you'll do it. Or I'll set those two apes outside loose on you. I knew you'd see it my way, Jackie. Eight o'clock, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know all that, and I'm not prepared to argue. I think you'd be better off yes, at that sir, meeting. I'll Sarah, you would. Here. It's all right, Sully, I'll get it. Kenny! The rumble me. Frank's and his men are nailed. Cotton run, I've been running all over all day. It's tonight, then? Yeah. Well, right. That settles it, doesn't it? Off you go. No, Des, Look, I'm, I'm not, not prepared to argue. Oh. Out. Go on, oh, off it, Sarah. Out all right. How many have you got, Des? See Just Billy and me, when he's here. Delete us. Yeah. No, Miss Armstrong, my ideas have changed. Not much, but a little. Why, Mr. Small? Oh, little things. Your eyes get opened. You know, uh, 
Well, you must have seen it, surely, in your job. You would change your mind about people, seen something that wasn't there on the first meeting. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. But, well, I haven't been doing this very long, you see. Well, it's not necessarily the time it takes. It, it's opening your eyes. I don't know, it's being... Um... Aware. Yeah, I suppose that's it. And then having the courage to act on what you've seen. Trusting people and your own judgment. Yes, but you can get hurt like that, though, badly. Perhaps. But it's living your life, isn't it? Not just existing. And that's what it's all about. Now, when I lived in that office, day in, day out, well, I was a sort of dummy, a museum piece. Well, I can even see now why my wife... Well, that's something else, isn't it? Daddy, I'm sorry. I'm oh, there you are, sir. Glad you got here. There's going to be trouble tonight. I don't want to hear anything more about trouble. Now, I've got enough of my own, understand? Well, have I answered all your questions, Miss Armstrong? Yes, thank you. And more. Good. Now, well, now you're here, sir, I want you to make yourself useful. I want you to fold these up. What's sort of trouble, sir? Just can shop. Mr. Pax is coming tonight. tonight. Right. We've got to start on time, you know. Right, Jackie, time. Great. Jackie, you and the lamb will go to the top road. We'll go through the park, OK? But don't forget to do a good job, Sonny, all right? went one way. Jackie went the other. Where's Jackie taking the anvil? Tell us, lover. Why should I? Because if he's going to do over Small's meeting, he's in it up to his neck. The police are guarding it, see? Hey, come here. Let me go. Look, I've done you a favour, right? Well, do me one. Get down to Sam's, phone this number, tell him Frank's is on his way, right? Well, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to get down to the club and watch out for Sarah and try and stop the anvil doing anything daft. Come on, will you? Right. No, boys, no trouble at all here, please. It's all right, it's all right, old man. Calm down. I just want a quiet chat with my mates, that's all. So shut up. Mister? Hey, what she wants. Yeah? There's a message from Billy. Hey, what you doing? Sam, would you phone that number, please, and say that they're on their way? They'll understand. Certainly, I What you at? You gone bombing. That's your job, innit? Listen, it's a setup Billy told me. The police are all round Smalls meeting, Jackie. Well, Franks was going to drop you right in it, sweet as a nut. I know. Oh, no! I told you! I'm the best! So I keep out of the game, see? I'm not daft. Are you sure this is a wise thing you're doing, Bess? No, I'm not. Hey, you're not getting cold feet too, are you? Yes. I'm not going to talk for much longer, ladies and gentlemen, because I want to give you the chance to ask some questions. But before I do sit down, I want to thank all those kind people who helped me so much during the election campaign. First of all, all those who trap the streets and put pamphlets through letterboxes. I give the word, all right? And stay out of it, huh? Hey, Kenny, you got that film in the camera? Yeah, almost. They're here! The Anvil Franks the lot! They're all here! Sarah's finding a call box. Stop it, please, stop it! Split from front. That's them. Right, when I yell and quiet, okay. You were warned! Not by you, I wasn't warned. You were warned by a friend of mine. Pay up or be closed up. You didn't pay, did you, Please, Sonny? my father. He'll pay you when he comes from home. Mr. Hospital. Shastri and me are weeping salt tears, Sonny. Break it up. Come on. Charlie, no! Get their pictures! Get my camera! Oh! You... You... From you, okay? Jackie, what the heck are you doing? Oh, we're the fifth cavalry, mate. That's what's funny. <laughs> God, get him out of here. Go on. Oh, what did we get, Jackie? Search me, mate. A long time. Threads, intimidation, protection rackets, a lot. Yeah? Yeah, he got the book thrown at him, more Franks. Jackie? Yeah? She wants to know if you're giving Des Johnson a hand. What with? 
Your auntie's place. Look, I told you before, Zoll. Don't gang up on me, all right? Billy? Coming over? What's up? I was just wondering what good it all does, all that. You giving up, Billy Adams? I feel like it, yeah. On everything. Well, I never thought I'd hear you say that. Oh, it's all right for you. Stay at school, tech, university, studying, all that. And blokes like him popping up. We're going away again, Billy. Yeah, uh, maybe. Remember I told you once I had a dream? Where I looked down a dark tunnel with no ending. Hey, have you ever walked around the steelworks? You should. Really, you should. It's noise and dirt and heat and... Well, nothing. Not really. Old men are 30 with, with no hair up. The nails gone in the acid plant. The teeth stain black because every time they take a drag, they get acid on the teeth. There's showers all along the plant to chuck a man in if he falls in the acid bath. Not much use. Not really. And maybe you get a pension at the end of 40 years, clocking in, clocking out. And when you're an old man, handshake and a clock. Aye. And blokes like your dad go round, saying it's all right. Men like their work. Like it? Why? Why, Sarah? A dead end. Aye. The end of that dark tunnel. It doesn't have to be, Billy. We fought two fights now and won them. It's something we've learned. Maybe Des showed us. Stand up and be counted, or you might as well be dead already. Now walk all over you. The greedy ones. The crooked and the corrupt ones. It's true. We can change things, though, Billy. They've had it their way long enough. Maybe it's not a dead end. 